Hello guys, welcome back to another video here, it's Capsmith Gaming and now in today's video we're going to do what if S. Watini made an empire. Now it seems that my problem with videos just deciding to corrupt has been fixed and uh, they are being created now. I am going to click on this button and start up Minecraft. After I have uh, set this on hold for uh, tomorrow, Friday. So this weekend you won't get any videos until I fix my computer problems. It is very bad for both me and you because I would very much like to have all eight videos up but no you will I will be able to get three videos up now El Salvador will uh, attack Sao so Tome I don't know who owns that island so uh, let's say Sao Tome uh, owns it I'm going to see where was that snap okay good I do not have to turn off my uh, sound okay then so now they go to war with Gabon they push out from their entire border, push down a little bit, down the coast, then begin pushing a little bit to the border of Congo. Then they push down a little bit, and they go ahead and straighten out their front line, thicken it over here near the coast so they, they don't get surrounded, take more of the border with uh, the Congo, Slowly begin pushing in and uh, thickening the, their grasp, strengthening their grasp. Taking a little bit more coast, just enough so that they can uh, push even further, further forward here. And then they begin pushing in down here, just breaking through, flooding everywhere. Now. Basically, my videos just said, oh yeah, we're going to uh, start uh, getting them ready soon, and then uh, that never happened. Now it's be now my videos are getting ready. One video, one, one. So yeah, that's pretty nice actually. Now they're going to go now the Equatorial Guinea are going to work with the Congo they begin pushing down the south taking the coast pretty easily then they push you know in towards their capital actually and also securing the entire southern border and then they push up in the north just pushing out a little bit like this and then uh, you know doing off going just basically occupying some land so that they won't lose anything surrounding a couple military people like three or four actually total high ranking officials though pretty weird now the now Congo has lost their capital their country and stability is crumbling and they are nearly gone now I want to talk about one thing and that is why I won't be doing a backfield 2042 video it's because I have been trying my best to get find out what weapon I'm good at and I'm good at the automatic shotgun it's very fun to use if you're the only one using it but if there's a single other person on the map who's using it if they're on the opposite team then it's no fun because then the entire team sees oh look at that that one person uses it that means that the entire team should use it and then it's no longer fun to play the game of battlefield 2042 because then everyone uses a gun that is uh, extremely difficult to survive and extremely easy to shoot someone from long distance now the Equatorial Guinea is going to war with the Democratic Republic of Congo. Then they're pushing down for the coast and the southern area. Also pushing out to take the capital quickly. And uh, basically just making it possible for uh, Congo to do anything. So they do a full uh, push 
push uh, across their entire border and just basically go all the way up to the northernmost point of the DRC then just thicken their uh, occupation and have a good time overall we begin uh, doing a spearhead there just pushing up doing a spearhead and then just straightening it out to uh, go all the way over there then they quickly move in to try to uh, you know uh, capture all that land they're actually doing quite nice in doing that because it's it's very difficult to do that in the huge jungle that's everything I actually know about uh, the DRC it's a Belgian colony tranquil rule big jungle uh, uranium uh, mines yeah Gabon has had a natural occur naturally occurred nu nuclear reaction all that good stuff now they push into the DRC is going quite well for our little friend of the Equ of Equatorial Guinea they also managed to get a hold of this little uh, exclave here of uh, Angola just got a sniff a little bit I'm a little uh, my nose is a little runny they begin pushing in slowly but surely as uh, to not get surrounded of course then they begin moving down the Angolan border with the DRC just making sure that Angola can't give them and give the DRC anything then also the Zambian uh, border with the DRC cutting off this part of the DRC just simply pushing in and uh, completely annexing that then they move up north to try to take that area out easily doing that just uh, taking the entire southern region just in case case they lose uh, the one uh, thing one road uh, it okay let's say one road uh, one highway connecting there to the, down there then it's this part they begin moving down the border uh, borders to the east and uh, then meet up quickly after long no, yeah, after long drawn out conflict with tens of thousands of lives lost, both civilian and military, the DRC surrenders. Then the uh, Equatorial Guinea takes this land, not the entire country, because they're pretty sure they wouldn't be able to handle that and they're probably right too now they just swiftly do that and then of course puppet them now I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one